the research group 9. The topic is drug reduction of automotive brand by Vortex Generator. An advisor of our research is Professor A. Marshall Ajit E. M. Rahong, co advisors A. Vice Marshall Kasey Panchana, and the suggestion and assistant from Wing Commander Associate Professor Dr. Wan Chai Jia Chan. And the members of our research are my name is Apha Gonbun Homlak. My student ID is 6013001. My name is Kamoshano Gerhlot. My student number is 6013006. And my name is Mongkon Gosai. Student ID 6013009. The purpose of this presentation is to let everyone know about our research, the drug reduction of automotive RAM by Vortex Generator. Start with some video and then presentation. Here we go. As you see here, this is introduction. The average temperature of the Earth is rising to wider latitude is about 50 years ago. The way to explain the pattern is to include the effect of greenhouse gas emitted by humans. See that transportation is a major cause of global warming. But new fossil fuels such as gasoline and diesel discharge carbon dioxide and greenhouse gas into the atmosphere. Therefore, this project is study and develop the aerodynamic of the automotive van by reducing drag for lower fuel consumption and also how to reduce accident by installing a water generator to reduce aerodynamic drag. With a side for helping with safe fuel, water generator also help to reduce accident, accident causing by leaf like a pen wing which affect the pressure on the tire on the road that like causing the friction on the road to decrease. Therefore, controlling the car is more difficult. As we know that the objective of the research is to reduce the drag of the car by vortex generator in order to help reduce global warming. Let's see how vortex generator works. The vortex generator acts like small wing tip that create a little wing tip vortex spiral between the free steam and boundary layer. This allows high kinetic energy from free steam airflow mixed with the low kinetic energy at the boundary layer. 
help the airflow in the boundary layer resist the adverse pressure gradient longer, which pressure gradient is the force that results when the drain pressure, which causes the drag. If the vortex generator can resist the adverse pressure gradient, that means the vortex generator can reduce the drag. And next, I'm talking about the important related theory in our research. The first one is law of similarity. Due to a scale effect or the incomplete similarity, we cannot achieve the full scale of the model and the prototype. So the law of similarity must be considered. The law of similarity is split into three levels. The first level is the geometric similarity. It's to maintain our corresponding ratio of the length. That means the model and the prototype are the same shape. The second level of law of similarity is the kinematic similarity. It's to maintain our ratio of length and times, which refer to the velocity. And the third level is the dynamic similarity is to maintain of the ratio of the forces. The law of similarity was applied in the scaling process with the other condition, which is the condition of speed and size. The speed must be highest as possible to obtain the Reynolds number that close or equal to the reality, and the size, the cross-section area of the model compared with the cross-section area of the text section must be considered to avoid the effect of the solid block edge and ball interference, which this effect can cause the value from experiment being improper. And next theory is the aerodynamics. Aerodynamics is the study of force and the resulting motion of the object to the air. There are lift, weight, thrust, and drag. Which drag force is the force that resists the movement of the object that caused by the friction of the air. This can be the main factor of the fuel consumption. In aerodynamics, we train to use the theory of drag to improve the aerodynamics of the vehicles. Which drag force can be calculated by this equation? D equal to 1 half times CD times A times rho times V square. Which CD is drag coefficient? Low CD value can help saving fuel, especially at high velocity. Subsonic research wind tunnel. To operate something, we need to operate the subsonic wind tunnel under the limitation of the equipment and need the engineer approval to testing on the subsonic research wind tunnel. Test section have two times one point five times five point eight zero five meter and twenty five millimeter Kia acrylic wall, twenty seven millimeter marine pine wood for a loop and turntable diameter of 1.6 meter. For the subsonic wind tunnel given details at the road range, normal force at 1,335 Newton, side force at 667 Newton, axial force at 356 Newton, pitching moment at 56 Newton meters, yawing moment at 28 Newton meter, and rolling moment at 28 Newton meters. And next related research, the aerodynamic drag reduction in passenger vehicles using vortex generator with varying yaw angle. This journal was published by the Department of Automobile Engineering in Anna University of Technology. The research tests a vortex generator with varying angles found that the angle between 10 to 17 degrees of vortex generator can reduce the drag. But if the angle is more than 17 degrees, the drag was increased instead. Therefore, from this journal, the researcher can resize the angle of vortex generator. And next, the research on aerodynamics drag reduction by vortex generators. This journal was published by Studio Package Engineering Department, Research and Development Office of Mitsubishi Motors. This research target was to save the energy due to global warming by study about the drag reduction by vortex generator of ground vehicles. The research study about the bump shape vortex generator and the delta wing shape vortex generator, which the most efficient vortex generator type is the delta wing shape vortex generator. Therefore, we designed to use the delta wing shape vortex generator to test in our research. And methodology. First, design and create the model. After obtaining a dimension of a model, the engineering drawing was done to specify the size and shape of a part and assume for accurate dimension manufacturing process. 
Next, he is a model of automotive land that met with prototype of GM7 Rollerblade TD printing PLL filament. Sanding and priming process. The model was sanded by sandpaper to remove material for surface and a layer of material to make them smoother. And then the print primer was applied on the wet model for a preparatory coating put on the model before painting. Priming process was done a better adhesion of paint to the surface, increased paint durability, and provided additional protection for the model being painted. Painting process. The model was painted to protection of the past surface from the environmental factor, such as oxygen and other chemically active gas, moisture, dissolved soil, and other chemical, temperature, material, fungi. So, corrosion protection was the most important function of pen. So, moving on to the vortex generator implementation. Due to the height of vortex generator defined by calculated rate, no number of the prototype to see the thickness of the boundary layer on the flat plate. The vortex generator was designed in size of 42.5 times 17 times 8.5 cm. So this is the dimensional and height that we were de defined. The prototype of the water generator can be produced by this. So before the water generator was produced, it had to be confirmed that it testable. So this is the water generator with no angle. The water generator with angle of 10 degrees. Water generator with angle of 15 degrees. And this is the vertex generator with angle of 20 degrees. So this is the model after we install the vertex generator with all different angles. So at the testing process, the model was set up on distinct balance. The researcher needs to obtain the engineering's approval that the model is durable enough to hold against the high speed wind tunnel. Afterward, the model was tested without the vertex generator at speed of 30, 35, 40, and 45 meter per second respectively. This type will repeat up two times to ensure the accuracy data. On the left hand side you can see that this is the proposal before we test it. So moving on, the vertex generator was installed with angle of 10, 15 and 20 degrees and tested on the wind tunnel sequentially. Finally, the researcher collected the data from the wind tunnel and applied on the calculation method. The wind tunnel informed drag value, which could calculate into the drag coefficient. In addition, the graph was plotted between the drag coefficient and Reynolds number, which was shown in the result of the drag reduction at the installation angle. Schedule. First, send finished door into part manufacturer. Second, waiting for manufacturing process. Third, combine the water generator with automotive line model. Fourth, set and verification with wind tunnel. Next, discussion and conclude the testing result. And last, project presentation and submit the complete hard copy. Next, the calculation part. First, I would like to recall the calculation part from previous progress presentation. First, the real number of the prototype was calculated by this equation, where the velocity of the van is around 100 to 120 km per hour. So the real number of the prototype is 9x6 7x25.495, which is the turbulent flow. Then the thickness of boundary layer was calculated by this formula, which is the formula of turbulent boundary layer thickness. Then the height of boundary layer of the prototype was 8.407 cm. So if the vortex generator needs to spiral the high kinetic energy from the free steam air to resist the adverse pressure gradient, the height of the vortex generator must be higher than the thickness of boundary layer. Then the researcher decides the height of vortex generator of the prototype to be 8.5 cm, which is greater than the height of boundary layer. Then find all dimensions of vortex generator by the ratio of dimension from the researcher of effect of vortex generator on aerodynamics of car by CFD analysis. Then the dimension of prototype vortex generator was defined. After that, the researcher scaled down the prototype eight times to avoid the effect that may be caused by solid block edge and ball interference. And this is the dimension of the model vortex generator. After the process of manufacturing, the experiment was run. The data collected from experiment is the drag force, 
which collect 14 counts of each velocity and find the average to obtain the precise value. Then find the average by this equation. Get the average that force of the model with our vortex generator at 30 meter per second equal to 3.94329 power force. Then repeat the solution to find the average drag force of all model at each velocity. But the drag force collected from experiment was in the British unit. Then we change to international system unit in order to make it easier to calculate. By multiplying 4.44 to 2 to convert from power force to newtons. Then find the drag coefficient from theory of aerodynamics. The drag coefficient equal to 2 times drag force divided by density of air times cross-section area times velocity square. And this is the example of calculate drag coefficient of model with our vortex generator at 30 meter per second. The average drag force equal to 3.94329 power force. Then multiply 4.44822 to convert into newtons. Get the average drag force equal to 17.54 newtons. Then substitute the value into the equation, which the drag coefficient equal to 2 times drag force, which is 17.54 newtons, divided by density of air in the tech section, which is 1.15 kg per meter cube, times cross section area of the model, which is 0 0.06964 meter square, times velocity square, which is 30 meter per second to the power of 2. Then get the drag coefficient of the model with our vortex generator at 30 meter per second equal to 0 0.4828. And at 35 meter per second, the average drag force equal to 5.20829 power force. Then substitute the value into equation. Get the drag coefficient of the model with our vortex generator at 35 meter per second equal to 0 0.47233. Then the researcher repeat the solution to find the drag coefficient of each model at each velocity. Get the drag coefficient as this table. After that, the drag coefficient was plotted against with the Reynolds number to compare the drag coefficient between with and without vortex generator. The lower line refers to the lower drag coefficients. In order to make it easier to see which one is the most efficient, the different percentage between before and after install the vortex generator was calculated. And this is our calculation part of our research. And next, the discussion. So from now, we are going to talk about the discussion. First, no angle installation. The vortex generator is applied on the rear end of the van model with inclination no angle. The coefficient of drag was 0 0.48 at velocity of 30 meter per second, 0 0.47 at velocity of 35 meter per second, 0 0.45 at velocity of 40 meter per second, and 0 0.38 at velocity of 45 meter per second. Next, the inclination angle 10 degrees. The coefficient of drag was 0 0.428 at velocity of 30 meter per second. 0 0.427 at velocity of 35 meter per second. 0 0.416 at velocity of 40 meter per second. And 0 0.357 at velocity of 45 meter per second. The percentage reduction in drag coefficient is comparison with an installed vertex generator, which is 11.3%, 9.3%. 5%, 7.6%, and 5.94%. Hence, drag force and coefficient of drag on the passenger car were reduced as proportional to drag coefficient respectively. So we are moving on to the third one, the inclination angle 15 degrees. The percentage reduction in drag coefficient is comparison with the uninstalled water generator, which is 7.83%. 5.6%, 3.13%, and minus 0.71%. The drag force and coefficient of drag on the passenger car were reduced as proportional to drag coefficient respectively. So we're moving on to the next one, the inclination angle of 20 degrees. The coefficient of drag 
and the percentage reduction in drag coefficient is comparison with the uninstalled vertex generator were 10.89%, 8.42%, 6.43%, 3.23%. The drag force and the coefficient of drag on the passenger car were reduced as proportional to the drag coefficient respectively. Due to a result from the calculation part, clearly showed that the drag coefficient was decreased. But when at the higher angle of vertex generator and higher velocity, drag train not to decrease but increase instead. Because vertex generator work by generating vertex to pull a high kinetic energy from free steam air to the boundary layer, which help the force attach the surface further. So less weight, less drag. It's true that a higher angle of vertex generator can create more vertex, but it also creates a drag. However, it must have the most efficient angle when compared the drag coefficient at the same speed or the same Reynolds numbers. Can see that. Vortex generator has essential role in improving aerodynamics, drag reductions, and decreasing fuel consumptions. For the conclusion, the vortex generator performs as we expect, which demonstrates high effectiveness and excellent potential for reducing the drag coefficients. In this experiment, the most efficient is the model with 10 degrees vortex generator, which coefficient of the drag was reduced by 11.3% which compared to the model without the water generator, it also has a tendency to have coefficient of drag less than the other models, according to the incremental Reynolds number. As said by the researcher, we want to reduce the drag of the vehicle to reduce the global warming. So according to the result of the experiment, the water generator has ability to reduce the drag coefficient by generating vortices, which this vortice mix the high energy free steam air into the lower energy body layer, which is allowed allowing the airflow in the body layer to resist the adverse pressure gradient longer and delay the body layer separation cause the drag reductions. So for this advantage, the water generator are suggest to be used in the commercial application for the ground vehicles and even in the aviation industry for the drag reductions. And next, the conclusion of procedure and schedule. The blue color represents the procedure in first semester. The yellow represents the procedure in second semester. Green represents the procedure that follow the plan. Red represents the procedure that delay from the plan. And orange represents the procedure that faster than the plan. In the preparation part, the defined topic, study to read, find the equipment and material sources, and cost estimation are follow the schedule. And next, the model manufacturing process. The selection of equipment and material and manufacturing process are going as we plan, but the drawing process was delayed because at first we select the truck trailer to be our model, but the truck model cannot withstand the high speed of the wind tunnel, so we have to change the model. Then this caused the delay of the drawing process of the model. And next, the vortex generator implementation. All process of vortex generator manufacturing process are faster than we thought, cause the vortex generator implementation ahead the schedule. And next, the verification and testing process. Even the vortex generator done faster than we planned, but we already reserved the testing day for the wind tunnel, so testing and verification are going as we planned. And next, the calculation, discussion, and conclusion of the research are follow the plan. This is our presentation. Thanks for watching.